Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we're going to do another batch of sysadmin links. If you haven't wasted enough time this week, I'm here to help you. The, uh, the first one is an old thread on our sysadmin on Reddit. Someone coming in and asking, oh, you know, I don't have much experience about becoming a sysadmin, but uh, how can I train for it? And uh, the first and most upvoted answer is by someone who gives them information, gives them some training tips on how to train for some of the less hilarious parts of the job, like alarms going off in the middle of the night, or non-technical people getting instructions from you and doing the wrong thing, or people with more status and power at a company uh, trying to bully you around, mismanagement, that sort of thing. I wouldn't say that system administration is defined by these things, but uh, they certainly do happen occasionally. And uh, the way he puts this is just freaking hilarious. Okay, a DDoS attack explained in an image. You've got a router here on the left. We've got a legitimate client starting the TCP handshake, sending a SYN packet. Router says, oh yeah, I'm totes here. Sends a SYN ACK back. Client finishes uh, building up the TCP connection, sends an ACK. And a DOS attack. A client sends a SYN, the router sends a SYN ACK back and is now keeping track of this connection. The router tries again because it's still trying to complete the TCP handshake. The router tries again. Troll face is beginning to happen. And uh, at some point with a couple thousand clients doing this a couple thousand times per second, I think start to get ugly for the router. The easy way to learn hard stuff. A uh, nice little article about how to go about learning. I think most people go about this absolutely the wrong way, almost backwards. Step one is really just starting to do stuff before you really understand what you're doing. Make sure to set up a virtual machine, some kind of environment where you're not actually breaking important things, but then begin experimenting. The second tip is uh, once you've started working on some kind of project, some small learning project, just read up on theory when you actually run into problems. And step three is build larger projects, things that are actually useful, things that you actually want to make money with. This article is written in sort of a development or coding context, but this totally applies to really learning any highly complex theoretical skill, right? Like system administration, Linux, Unix, even Windows administration, <laughs> and programming. Glances. You all know I love HTOP, but uh, Glances is really nice, and I've actually begun using it as much as HTOP, maybe even a little bit more. I've got this uh, installed on my, my dev machine, my laptop, and it is just fantastic. I, there's so much information here. Usually what you're looking for is there right on the, right on the first screen. There's also exporting options for those of you who are running Elk or something, something a little fancier the GitHub project, just in case you want to contribute. Okay, finally, go to the website, go to the sysadmin links post, and click this little red button. It takes an hour to get through, but uh, it's a speech by Charlie Munger, which is phenomenal. Charlie Munger is the business partner of Warren Buffett, and in here you'll find some really interesting tips for sort of optimizing your brain a little bit for getting the best chance at success you can have. Uh, just sort of how to think about things a little bit and how to stop deceiving yourself and how to give yourself the best odds. He's also just really funny to listen to because he's like kind of a cranky but brilliant old guy. Okay, so that's it for this batch. A little bit of fun, a little bit of education, a little bit of learning stuff. Uh, incidentally, I'll be coming out with quite a bit of content on how to learn and uh, specifically a new sort of learning method, project-based learning. Because I think that theoretical knowledge is great and very important, but trying to start learning with theoretical knowledge can backfire a little bit or just end up being a waste of time. So having projects that you are motivated to do is really useful, and there'll be some more on how to find those projects, how to use those projects to sort of trick yourself into learning all the theoretical deep sysadmin skills. That stuff is coming soon, as soon as I can finish it, anyway. Thanks again, guys. Remember to upvote and subscribe. I'll see you soon.